Hey guys, I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are. My name is Boom Shaka and I welcome you to my channel, to my YouTube videos. I'm so grateful that you guys are listening, watching, understanding, giving me feedback, asking questions, commenting, all of it. Just thank you so much. In this video, I want to speak to you guys about with relation to a comment that one of you guys left. One of you guys asked me to speak about the fact that, you know, INFJs just can go off the rails. Uh, he gave an example of Adolf Hitler. Apparently, he's an INFJ. I had no idea. And so there was kind of like an argument or a debate where, like, is Adolf Hitler really an evil guy or was he just like a misunderstood per per person in general? Right? I don't know. I don't want to debate on that. I don't know him. I don't know the history. I'm not privy to that. Let's not talk about that specifically. But what I'm going to speak about is the fact that INFJs in general, or I think in general, in my head, I think I'm 90% evil and 10%, 90 to 95% evil and 5%, like 5 to 10% good, right? In general, INFJs think of themselves as evil. Right? It's not that we are necessarily evil in the general things, like we don't kill people, <laughs> we don't murder people, like we don't, we don't kick puppies, you know, we don't do things like that. But we think of ourselves as evil or bad or not good is because we see ourselves so clearly because we're so self-aware because we're so we just kind of focus so much into our head we spend so much time in our head that we know ourselves so well that we think and are constantly analyzing ourselves we know ourselves and we know that we're not good people well we're not perfect is obviously the talent of it, right? We're not perfect. We have evil thoughts. We we say bad things about people. We walk around and sometimes we we laugh at someone when they fall or they stumble. And we do things like that. Like, you know, like evil things, like bad things basically, right? But because we're INFJs and we have such high standards for ourselves, we do little bad things like that and we consider ourselves to be evil. We see ourselves so clearly and we're like, well, of course I'm evil. And that's why we don't understand it when people like us. We're like, but I'm 90, 95% evil. Like, how how do you think, do you even know me? Like, how can you like me, right? That is why we don't understand people when they like us. Because, <laughs> because we're evil to ourselves, right? And you guys are not going to get it. You're not going to understand it if you're not an INFJ. Like, I don't know how to explain it to non-INFJs. When people ask me, you know, why do you think of yourself as evil? Like, because I do talk about it all. I'm openly talking about it, saying, you know, like, I'm not a good person, guys. If you think I'm good, then you're sorely mistaken. And they look at me like I'm insane and think, but why do you think that, Chica? Why do you think that of yourself? Why do you put yourself down like that? They don't get it because from the outside, they see me and they think, you know, you're a good person, you're kind, blah, blah, blah. But I see in my head what's going on and I think to myself, no, I'm not good. I am, I'm, I'm trying to get towards it. I'm trying to work towards being good. I'm trying to work towards being more and more better and better uh, as a person. But I know that I'm very flawed and the more I know about myself, the more I realize how flawed I am, right? The, the older I get, the more I realize how flawed I am. The more I learn about myself, the more I realize how flawed I am, right? As a wiser, older INFJ, I try to see all my flaws as uh, good things as well, right? Like there's both yin and yang to everything, light and dark. So we need the light in order to see the dark. So I think of my flaws as something that, that is necessary for me to be in this world. If I didn't have those flaws, my good qualities won't stand out as much or whatever it might be, right? However you want to look at it. So there's different ways to look at it. So I'm always constantly boosting myself up and my self-esteem because I want to make sure that I'm not just putting myself down all the time. But if you spend any time in my head, which you guys are because I'm talking to you guys through these videos, and this is basically what's going on in my head, a lot of times I realize and I understand of myself myself as being evil I am evil I think I think what it is is that most human beings are good and evil in equal parts right we need the good in order to be to see the bad and we need the bad in order to see the good and no one is perfect right so it is a normality of life no one is going to be 100% good right no one is 100% evil either, right? Like, that's the thing about 100% evil. Like, the villains that they show on te television and all that stuff, they're not 100% evil. It's not possible for humans to do that. We have a conscience. And even psychopaths will feel bad for a puppy. You know what I'm saying? Like, they they have little bits of themselves that are still good. They're still human. 
So not everyone is 100% evil or 100% good. But in our heads, we're not 50-50. I think most people are 50-50. That's how I look at them. And I'm looking around the world, I think of them like 50% good, 50% evil, right? Um, and so there's a lot of good in them, obviously. And there's a lot of bad in them as well. Because like, we go back and forth. And that's why we have rules in place. We have society. We have dem democracy. We have governments. We have cops. We have um, these justice systems. Because we need to curb the bad of people. There's always this bad that's going to come out, right? So 50-50, I think, is a, is a normal mix. Perhaps less, more, obviously, I don't know, really. It's just an estimate on my, in my head. But for me, specifically, when I look at myself, because I know myself so well, and I see what's going on in my head, I think of myself as 90 to 95% evil. The reality is, it's not the truth, obviously. I'm not that bad. But when I see myself so clearly that I see that, yeah, you know what? I think I am that bad. I think I am that bad. I can't look at myself as 90 to 95% good. No, there is no way. I can't even look at myself as 50% good. I'm thinking to myself right now, I'm thinking, no, you know what? I don't think I could do that. I think of myself as 90% evil. I don't, I didn't do this video so we can be like, oh, I'm such a horrible person, blah, blah, blah. I'm not doing that to, to negate ourselves. No, that's not the reason. I'm doing this video in order to show you that if you think of yourself that way, you're not alone. <laughs> You're not alone, guys. There are a lot of INFJs out there who think similarly, that they think of themselves as evil and all that stuff, right? Why does this matter? It's because if you think of yourself as evil, can you imagine the repercussions on your freaking self-esteem? If you think of yourself as bad, then are you going to be the kind of person who takes care of yourself? No, because you're evil. Why should you take care of yourself? You just let yourself deteriorate to death, right? That's how energies think. That's the reason we don't take care of ourselves. We don't think of ourselves as deserving of taking care. We don't deserve pampering. We don't deserve love. We're un are unworthy of all this stuff. So when someone comes to us and says, you're so nice, I want to hang out with you, let's be besties, we think to ourselves, you are clueless and you have no idea who I am and you don't know anything. And once you figure out who I am, you're going to run in the opposite direction. They won't. Uh, and that rarely happens, but that's what we think to ourselves, right? I don't want you guys to think that anymore. I'm trying myself. I, I, I feel like I'm preaching to the core, but I'm really trying myself to do this exact same thing. Whenever I judge myself as evil, I try to pull myself back and say, no, Shaka, you're not evil. You just had a, a weak moment, right? If I did something wrong or bad in the moment, well, it was just a weak moment, but I have a lot more good moments the unfortunate thing is, as INFJs and as human beings in general, we have a tendency to focus on the bad rather than the good. You could have a hundred good things you did on a day, but if one bad thing happened, you'd focus on that bad thing. That's what human beings do. It's a psychological trait of ours. We focus on the bad, right? And INFJs are so critical of ourselves that if there's anything bad that we've done during the week or during the day, we'll focus on that. We won't think about all the people that we saved and all the good things we did. If we yelled out at someone or we said something wrong, that's the one thing that we'll focus on. And that will that will make us feel like, oh my God, I'm so bad. I'm so evil. I'm such a horrible person. I don't know why I'm still alive. Like, why do people even bother? I'm never going to have any friends. All that stuff. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm sure you've had those shame spirals in your head, right? I want you guys to stop that right now. Just stop it. Every single time you go through this kind of shame spiral, I've saw, talked about this before in another video, but I want you guys to stop doing this to yourself. I want you guys to stop doing this to yourself because it's extremely important that we are kind to ourselves. Our self-talk, our INFJ self-talk is really harsh and critical, and I really want you guys to change that. We are not evil. We're normal. Everyone has moments of good and moments of bad. We're not perfect. We need to realize this fact, and every single time we are mean to ourselves in that regard, come back and say, no, I'm going to be nice to myself. This is just a weak moment. It was just a bad day. It was just a bad week. I'm going to get over it. I'm going to go back to normal, blah, blah, blah. It's all about peaks and valleys, ups and downs, right? We're not always going to be on top. We're not always going to be on the bottom. It's going to go up and down and up and down, okay? I hope this makes sense to you guys. I, I'm, I'm hoping that I explained my intentions to you probably. Sometimes I ramble on. I think to myself, did I get to the point? Again, it's an INFJ tendency to ramble. Maybe I'll do a video on that eventually. Hope this makes sense to you guys. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.